Gene Watson is sitting next to a, an empty chair over there, and we have fun, and we laugh, and we cut up, and we had something kind of serious happen earlier in the day today. Mark Chestnut was here, one of the great country singers from Texas, and uh, I know Mark Chestnut means an awful lot to Gene Watson. You guys have a not only the connection of both being from Texas, but I know that when you were ill, when you had cancer back uh, a few years ago, I know Mark was very instrumental in in coming to your aid and your help. Talk a little bit about Mark and, and, and the friendship that you guys share. Well, I've always, you know, loved Mark. Uh, he's from right down the road where I am and, and everything, and, and I've always loved his music. And, uh, of course, when I was diagnosed with cancer, well, uh, I didn't have a penny's worth of insurance or anything like that. And uh, so thanks to the country music family and every, just about everybody associated with it, they they had several fundraisers for me in different places, and uh, which I was thankful for. But, but Seeley sent some stuff to be auctioned off and different ones, Loretta Lynn sent stuff in, Alan Jackson, just about everybody in the business sent something to be auctioned off. So the the fundraisers were huge successes and they, I like to say, saved my life. But the one thing that, that meant so much to me, there was three or four of them that Mark jumped in and they drove all the way from his home in Beaumont to wherever they might be. You know, he'd just show up and walk up and, and uh, I, I just couldn't believe it. And, and every time, he would come to me, you know. He'd say, let me tell you something. He said, country music can't do without you. He said, you'd be surprised how many people love you. And he said, I'm one of the main ones. And he said, anything I can do, anytime, you let me know, and I'll be there. Amen. And I've never forgotten that, and, and uh, just a dear friend of mine. How far back do you all go? You're both from East Texas. You're from Houston. He's from Beaumont. Only in the music business. I never knew Mark, uh, except we had played the same places before either one of us got a break. And, and uh, I was already in the business, of course, when I turned on the radio one day and heard Too Cold at Home, you know, and, and, uh, and I immediately started sorting him out, you know, because he was so close and I love what he did so much. But what Mark means to me is something that uh, you, you can't take that away. He's a fantastic person and I love him. Well, we were looking forward to hearing him sing today, and before the taping started, we all said a little prayer for Mark, and we certainly hope he's he's going to be all right. You know, I would think, people might think, okay, here you are, a great country singer from Texas, Mark Chestnut, great country singer from Texas. People might think y'all would be jealous of each other, or you'd be enemies, or you'd be competitors. But what a great story to hear of the friendship, even though... You know, you, you compete for airplay on the radio. You compete in the music charts and all. But, well, but to be friends like that. Very few things get to me, but, but something like that does. And, and, and Mark, you know, we've worked some shows together and, and uh, uh, just had such a good time because, you know, you put Gene Watson and Mark Chestnut together and shake it around however you want to, it's going to fall out country. <laughs> and uh, we just always had so much fun and, and played to some great audiences and everything. And back when Mike Oatman owned the, you know, the, the, the all the radio stations, they would do the appreciation shows. And well, me and Mark worked several of those things together. And and uh, one of the finest tours we had was me and Mark and Ty Herndon did a, a run like that. And I'm telling you, boy, we had them hanging from the rafters, you know, and it was nothing but solid traditional country music. And uh, what can you say for that? That's one reason that this gathering right here means so much to me. I get to talk to people that I can understand what they're talking about, you know? <laughs> a, a lot of the new circles, I, I, don't, I don't know where they're coming from. Like Mark was saying, you know, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the new ones, which I want everybody to succeed in whatever they set out to do. I like to see people succeed. But when it comes to recording, uh, Dirk and I was getting ready to do a session one day, and I got there a little early nosing around, something like that, you know. And they said, how are we going to do that? Da, 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 you know, and I said, well, everybody, you know. He said, you know, that's that's old school. I said, well, I didn't start just yesterday, you know. <laughs> but uh, 
old school still works for me, and it does for so many people in, in this room, you know. And I try to adapt. Sometimes it's not easy, but uh, we got to have somebody coming along and carrying the flag. Well, we 